Hi, this is example number three and let's begin. We are to evaluate the sum of the first 14 terms in the sequence 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, until 39. So we are to evaluate the sum. So since we are evaluating the sum, that means we are looking for a series. Very good. Now, next step is to identify whether it's arithmetic or geometric. And let's see, uh, 13, how did it become 15, 15 to 17, and so on? What's happening here? Very good. We are adding 2 to the previous term to be able to get the next term. So plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And since we're adding, that means this is an arithmetic sequence. And if we are looking for the sum, that, that means we are looking for the arithmetic series. Next, let's identify whether to use the first formula or the second formula. We have a word sequence ending at 39. Unlike the previous example in example number two, which just ended in an ellipsis, this one gave the last term. And it is safe to assume that this is the 14th term. Therefore, this is a sub 14, which in our formula is translated as a sub n. Ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin po natin ay second formula. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, let's solve this example using that formula. We have S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Let's identify the given values. We are looking for N 14th term. So N is 14. A sub 1 is your first term and it's 13. A sub N, or in this case, it's A sub 14, which is 39. Next, let's continue. So we now substitute S sub 14. 7, oh sorry, let's do substitution first. 14 over 2. A sub 1, which is 13, plus A sub N, which is 39. So we have 7 times 52 and S sub 14 is 7 times 52 on our calculator. 364. 364 and this is now the sum of all the terms that follows this sequence. Ma'am, Paano po kung yung ginamit po namin, yung first formula, parehas lang po ba makukuha namin sagot? Yes, of course. Let's check to be able to prove that you'll just arrive at the same answer. S sub 14 is equal to 14 over 2 times the quantity of 2 times, what's so A sub 1? 13 plus the quantity of N, which is 13. Oh, sorry, 14 minus 1 times D, the common difference, which is 2. And then we have 7 times 2 times 13 is 26 plus 13 times 2. So we have 7 times 26 plus 26. Okay, we have 7 times 52, which will give us 364. So, we still arrive at the same answer. Ma'am, paano po kasi malalaman kung yung first formula or yung second formula yung gagamitin? Again, you use the first formula if you do not know the value for a sub n. Say, your sequence ended in an ellipsis that it uh, ends in forever. Hmm, buti pa dito may forever. That it continues to infinity. You use the second formula when you know the value of a sub n. Okay, so that's it for our third example. Thanks. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of